Finally, some of you have waited for a long time for this. In this video I will show you how to make a simple user interface in Squareline Studio and how to op upload it to an ESP32 board. For this series of tutorials you can use T-Display S3 Touch AMOLED or LilyGo T4 AMOLED. I decided to use these boards because many of you already have one of them. Also if, if you are a beginner it is easier because LilyGo has practically already prepared all the files or LVGL helpers. After I don't know how many tutorials I will show you how to use any ESP32 board built-in built display. If you want to buy these boards you can find affiliate links in the description and you will help me with my plan to become rich. Uh, I want to become rich as soon as possible because then I can move on my next plan which is uh, rule this galaxy of course. If you don't want to buy these boards please stay tuned because you can still learn a lot. So first step is to install this board, to install our libraries and boards definition. I'm on LilyGo page and here we have this link which will open LilyGo AMOLED series GitHub. I open this because here we can find many useful information and here can we here we can find instructions how to install this board in Arduino. So first we need to install board definitions and what is important we need to ver uh, install version which is higher than 2.05 and lower than 3.0. So in Arduino IDE we need to go to file, we need to choose this and we will need to paste this link here. I will put this link in description so you can find it there. After that we can go to board manager which is here and we will write ESP32. And you can see here we need to install this. I already installed version 2.0.17. Uh, when you try to install it first it will try to install latest version but don't install this 3.0.2 you can install same version I have because it needs to be below 3.0 next we need to go to sketch include the library manage libraries we need to go to library manager and install a LilyGo AMOLED series so library manager is here Lily go AMOLED and we will click here to install latest version we will click to install all and now we need to wait some time LilyGo AMOLED series is installed and you can see that in my Arduino libraries for folder we have all needed libraries we can go to LilyGo AMOLED series and we can try to compile some of examples but it will not work why? because in the last step when all libraries were installed LVG version last version of LVGL is installed and as we can see here that we need LVG L version 8.3 so we need to downgrade this LVGL in library manager to 8.3.11 and install and now we need to wait again and it is installed now when we try to open 
any example. For example, this get started. So first we need to choose the right board. Board is ESP32, ESP32 S3 development module and on their GitHub site you have settings you need to choose. What is most important that flash size is 16 megabyte Partis partition schematic need needs to be this OPPS RAM so let's choose this 16 16 3 megabyte app 9.9 .9 megabyte FS OPPS RAM And let's try to compile it. And we have our first LVGL example. Very simple, but it is working. If you are still here, please consider subscribing. And if this is very useful to you, please consider su supporting my work by buying me coffee or becoming my Patreon supporter. I decided to make these tutorials free and I spent many hours making them. And this is what I do for a living now. Okay, let's finally use Squareline Studio. But first I will make our project map, which will call, be called my first SLS, capital letters. Make sure name of your folder is saved. And inside this folder I will paste this Arduino file. Make sure name is same like name of folder. I will paste it and you will find this file in description so feel free to download it. If we open it, if you open it we can see some functions which will initialize our user interface. Nothing fancy, very simple. Now let's go into Squareline Studio finally. So we will open Squareline Studio. I will continue with the trial. And I will choose create. And I will choose Arduino. And here we need to choose our map. Mine is on desktop, my first square line studio. The resolution of our board is hmm, 240 by 536. But we need another uh, so we will use 536 and 240 color depth need to be 16 bit swap LVG version 8.3.11 because we installed that version team we want to go to dark side of course and we can go to create now we have screen one and we will try to add some main components as button arc and slider. We can also add some labels. Or we can add a label 
to to the button sorry label here so we'll put it on the button press press me and now we want to export this to our map so first and very important step file project settings we need to have this checked in flat export export all files to one folder then export export UI files it will ask us in which map we want to map my first square line studio export successful in my my first square line studio we have all files exported and my first SLS I will open it and now we have many files which are related to our user interface but main main file is my first Querline studio my screen is flickering I installed this with Windows this morning so it's maybe some driver is missing so board ESP32 S3 port this will be port flash size 16 partition size 16 3 megabyte and PSRAM OP PSRAM and we will click to upload and here it is it's working simple but very nice blue buttons arc yes it's working i know that is <laughs> really simple but first we need to start with something really simple we will learn more and make make something more useful in next tutorial thank you please subscribe uh, please check links in the description please if you want to support my work and uh, tell me what you think leave a comment like uh, share uh, uh, clean your uh, bedroom i don't know goodbye